right then so as you can see back here now we've got the thermal paste which is the xe5 thermal paste now i'm assuming they are alcohol rub uh wipes so yeah it comes with both and then there's, of course there's this boras p1 720 and it's a gaming cpu air cooler hmm so now I haven't opened it, I actually waited to do it with you guys, so let's take a look, shall we? Look at this. There we go. Right. There we are. Right. Let's take a good look, is it? Right, so you get some installation guide. So it does support oh it comes with a screwdriver. Awesome. I like that, so it, it does support LJ1700, 1200, 1500 and, 12, and 2011 comes with, oh annoying clips, I hate those clips, so yes it comes with a 140 and a 120 fan and of course it tells you to remove the little plate peel I have actually done that, <laughs> done that on one of the coolers I received, oh god Right, and then we got this and it shows you how to install the LGA 2011 bracket. There's LGA. And then there's AMD, so it's for AM5, 4 and 3. So let's get look, let's look at the, the air cooler itself. So it comes with the instructions. Uh, the Wow. Okay, so. Ooh, screwdriver. Oh, so it's just a basic screwdriver. I, I would have liked a little bit of branding on it, but. Oh well. Free screwdriver. So. That will work out here. Right, it comes with every mountain you need. So, here we go. Oh, LJ1700. And then we've got AMD. So it does use similar brackets to what Thermalite use. And we've got for 2011. And we've got for uh, AMD and Intel. Now it does come with its own thermal paste already in a little spreading tool. That is for Intel. There. Then we've got clips, which I don't like those annoying clips. Then we've got 2011 again. And then it comes with a back plate, which is for AM. Uh, not AMD, sorry, for LGA, as you can see. But so let's put all this away and then we'll have a look at the cooler. Okay then, so let's take a look at the cooler itself. Now, yes, it does come with very nice high quality foam. Which is very good, means it will get there. Very nice. Now, so one fan comes by here, we'll have a look. Now, yes, there is no RGB. And, okay, so it's definitely a four pin, which I do like. And it does come with a daisy chain, but they're already attached. To attach both fans now the fan is a 12 volt dc so it doesn't say anything else so there we go and then we get the cooler which comes with the 140 as well no sorry a 135 so basically similar to what uh be quiet do i will say it feels okay but I don't know, hmm, it looks okay. So let's have a look at the cooler itself. Wow, I will say it's quite big, so let's have a look. Okay, here we go. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. look at that. Now I like the embossed logo, and I do like the black. Now it's got a very uh, it's got a similar base plate like what Montec does. I am not overly fond of this type of base plate, but it's better than just having the copper pipes exposed. 
So there's the bracketry, exactly like what Thermorite does. And look at the size and that fit. Look at the fin density. Wow. Now, I do like the overall style. That looks rather striking. So yeah. Now I will be doing a full review okay then so i will be doing a full review of this air cooler now i will be putting some some through very strenuous tests as i'm gonna do a basic review with the 5900x at normal and then i'm gonna push the 5900x up to 200 watts so you guys can get a rough idea to see how this cpu cooler would perform with a higher wattage cpu so i'd like to say a big thank you to Gam gamdas i think that's how they pronounce it sorry if i didn't pronounce that correctly but i'd like to thank you anyway and i hope to continue with the collaboration and this review is coming next week so make sure you subscribe don't forget to like and as always it's a rich watch deck good bye